Hello everybody, welcome back. Today is the day, Sim Update 15 release day. So we're going to talk today about updating the Sim quickly and easily. And we're going to talk about some things that you might want to check once you have done the update. So let's get right to it. So we're going to talk about a few things in this video. And what I'll do is put the links in the descriptions to previous videos on these subjects that I have made. So if you want more information on any of the things that I talk about, you can go back and watch the video that I've already done. Now, the first thing we're going to talk about is updating the SIM itself. Now, the fastest way to do it is using a virtual private network. And what is a virtual private network? Well, a VPN is simply an intermediary between your internet service provider and the Microsoft Content Delivery Network. The Microsoft Content Delivery Network is what gives us the SIM update. That's where we download it from. And a lot of internet service providers will throttle your access to the Microsoft Content Delivery Network. Why do they do that? Variety of reasons, but all I can tell you is what that does is it slows down your download speeds. What a VPN does it prevents your internet service provider from knowing what you're doing. So if you look here on the left, that's your computer. You look just to the right of that, that's your internet service provider. So you're connected to your internet service provider. And normally, if you're not using a VPN, you go to whatever website you're interested in and your, VP, your internet service provider can see what you're doing. If you use a VPN, what you do is you connect via your internet service provider to the VPN and then the VPN can you connect after the VPN to whatever website you're trying to access. Your internet service provider can only see as far as the VPN. They can only see that you're connected to the VPN. They can't see what you're doing afterwards. So therefore they can't see that you are using the Microsoft Content Delivery Network and therefore they can't throttle it. Now, I did a video on this a week ago or so and you can see here my download speed through my internet service provider is 1.25 megabytes per second. Here I am opening NordVPN and connecting to the VPN and you're gonna see what happens to my download speed once I do this. So you can see there's the speed dropping off as I connect and now I'm connected to the VPN and watch this. So I'm going from 1.2, 1.3 megabytes per second. There's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Going to go up over 20, 25. So this is how you get around your internet service provider throttling your connection. There are various VPNs out there. There's ones that are free. There's ones that you pay for. I'm not endorsing NordVPN. It just happens to be the one that I use. You want to use a VPN if you're getting incredibly slow download speeds. If your download speeds are, you know, 20, 30, 40 megabytes per second, whatever, megabits per second, that's fine. You might not need a VPN. But if you're having trouble downloading the SIM update quickly, this is the solution. One of the things we want to do before we start the download is to clean out your community folder. Now, I did a video a week or so, 10 days ago, about using Add-on Linker to do this. And I'll put a link to that video in the description. And Add-on Linker is a wonderful way to do it. That's how I do it. It's very simple. The other thing you can do if you don't have much in there is simply empty it out. Just take what, take what you have in your community folder and copy it all and drag it into a backup folder that you create and do it that way. The other way you can do it, you can see here I'm in my, in my packages folder, is you can take your packages folder and just rename it. Put old underscore and just leave it like that before you start downloading some update 15. And then Microsoft Flight Simulator will create a new empty community folder for you when it sees that it's, it's not going to recognize that this is your community folder. And so it's going to create a new one for you. It'll create a new empty one for you. 
once you've downloaded the sim update and you're going to have this new empty community folder, simply delete it and then rename your old community folder and just take out the old underscore and you're back to your old community folder. The next thing we want to do is to update your DLSS file. One of the things that Microsoft Flight Simulator does when it updates the sim is it downgrades your DLSS file if you've upgraded it. It will downgrade your DLSS file back to version 2.4.12, which is from October 2022, I believe. It does this every time the sim updates. Now, first of all, what is Deep Learning Super Sampling, DLSS? It's a suite of AI technologies from NVIDIA, which help to improve your graphics image quality and your performance, your, your FPS performance. It is an AI technology, and what NVIDIA does, it uses machine learning, their machine learning supercomputers, and it learns how to optimize the sim and optimize your graphics quality and your performance. And then it builds this into the DLSS file, which works in tandem with your graphics driver to give you what you see on screen. I did a big video on this. I've done actually quite a few videos on this and I will link the most recent one or two in the description so you can see them if you wanna learn more about what DLSS is. But in terms of what we wanna do, it's very simple. So what we want to do is you want to come to DLSS Swapper once the sim is updated. Now I haven't updated it yet, so my DLSS version is 3.7.0. And if you come here and click on the books icon here on the upper left hand corner, what a SOB is going to do when you download some update 15 it's going to downgrade your DLSS file to 2.4.12. So what you're going to want to do is select either 3.6 or 3.7, whichever one you prefer. If you need to download it, if you haven't downloaded it yet, you simply click on this down arrow and it will download the file for you. And then you go back here to your games screen and click on Microsoft Flight Simulator. You might have multiple games in there depending on how many you have. And you select whichever one you want. In my case, it would be 3.7.0 and just click on swap. And then you're done. You've updated your DLSS file. And the next and really the last thing that we're going to want to do is clean up our caches. I'm not going to go into what these are. I've done a video on this. I will link that video in the description as well and we want to go in and clean up our shader caches and our driver caches and there's another secret i will say that you're also going to want to clean up another part of your system that you're going to want to clean up that is mentioned in this video you want to clean those after the sim update and when you do this you may notice in the first couple of minutes maybe first 10 15 minutes of your first flight after having cleared your caches you may notice a little bit of performance degradation you may notice some stuttering etc while your computer rebuilds the caches but this is important to do it's going to give you a fresh clean slate for your sim and it's going to help you get great performance once the caches have been rebuilt and the last thing I would recommend you to do, if you haven't done it already, I would recommend you updating your NVIDIA driver to the newest version, which is 555.85. I've tested this, I've tested it in GA aircraft, and I've tested it in the PMDG 737, as you're seeing here. And it's worked very, very well. Extremely smooth, performance has been wonderful. The reason you wanna update the driver is because especially if you're updating your DLSS file if you update the DLSS file and don't update the driver you're leaving half the equation out an updated DLSS file is not going to give you the performance you could get if you don't update the driver as well and so 
if you haven't updated your driver, I'd really encourage you to do that. You're going to see a little bit of screen uh, kind of, you can see the uh, tearing here a little bit on the screen because I do not have vSync enabled right now on my desktop for testing purposes. Um, so that's the screen tearing that you see here is not in the video. It's not in the sim. It's just a, revol a result of the playback because I don't have vSync enabled. But I would enable, I would encourage you to update your driver, update the DLSS file, clear your cache, and you should be ready to go. So I hope everybody is ready for Sim Update 15. It's a tremendous update. I will put my update video in the de description as well. I will put my Sim Update 15 update video in the description as well. So there'll be a number of videos in there that you're going to want to check out if you need any more information on these subjects. Much improved ground handling in Sim Update 15. You guys are really, really going to enjoy that. And should see, and everybody should see a really nice performance boost as well in terms of frames per second, smoothness, lack of stuttering. The ground tile issue, bleed through issue has also been resolved, which is fantastic. There's a number of things that they've done in this sim update. So this is a really exciting one, guys. I hope this video helps you get prepared. And if you guys have any comments or feedback or questions, please don't hesitate to leave those in the comments section. And I hope everybody's having a great day and we'll talk soon.